how they can actually put out their strategy, put out their uh, political narrative out there. The only way they are doing that is to use money and to use the power that they have uh, to to thwart that uh, opposition power, but not with the ideas, but with the things that which are not uh, constitutional, that are not uh, within the political framework that is that we are supposed to be experiencing. This is the reason why many people, like I think the worst, they are now coming up with this uh, topic, like to say GNU, and those who are say, supporting GNU, it is because that they they think that already they already lost to me they or there are people that already lost to hope on the democratic process of the country they already accepted that this country is not gonna be a democratic country and we are there is no hope for it to be a democratic country and also they already lost the um hope of having um of, of having a leader that is actually going to be uh, accepting uh, e e elections. So to me, it means that they already lost, the people, they already lost uh, hope in the election process or the electoral process. Because the reason why we, we go to elect we have a military government. So the military is to say um as a country. Are we allowing these old people to continue doing this for the future generation? So we cannot allow that kind of a need to continue and debating on the solutions on how this um uh, how this military government should be transfer power, not to have these other debates on saying um we we are not we are it's better for us to have a gnu so that we can stabilize the country the country can be stabilized when we have a good electoral process and power is transferred smoothly like what other countries are are doing that is the way that things should be not the other way around um i can see the host there is already uh telling me that time is up i'm gonna rest my case here uh thank you very much everyone uh thank you thank you so much Tino, uh for that presentation we are here we, we, we will not go if there is anybody with a solution on how uh, power can be transferred by the military come up and and, and say it we, we are not forbidding anyone so <laughs> whilst you are here let's say it so ndaba uh, uh senior dobbs uh, uh, champion Padari in, in that order. Coast, are you here? Uh, 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 if, if you cannot trust your memory, then you might need to write this down. Uh, host, Coast, are you here? Yes, I'm there. Uh, you had jumped over matters. Um, so, according to to where I had him, I had him straight after Senor. No, that's uh, okay, not no. true. I was after I was after Tino when he changed time. Smarters comes after me. Okay, and that's it comes right. after me. Uh, uh, okay, but uh, I I don't think uh, uh, insulting jibes uh, from Smarters about trusting my memory are not necessary. What you can simply do is to remind me uh, if I've made a mistake as a human being. So Smarters has been trying to steal the show by uh, continuing to throw these personal jibes. Uh, but we will continue ahead. 
Um, so, Coast, can you just confirm the lineup um, again uh, so that we can move on? Help me. Host, I think uh, your lineup uh, seems to be more accurate than mine, except for the fact that you had jumped smarters. So uh, perhaps if you can uh, just state it again, I will write it down and then we'll follow it. Okay, so after Ndaba comes smarters, am I right? No, I came, I did present before smarters. How did and, you forgot, and you forgot to raise your hand. No, okay, let's let okay, 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 okay. Let's let's do it this way. Everyone is going to speak three minutes. Daba, Smarters, uh uh Signoro, Dobbs, Padare, Champion. Everyone is just going to speak three minutes, then back to Ivan again. Uh thanks so much. Everyone is going to speak after all, guys. Thank you. Help me out. Uh there's no need to throw punches at me. Uh, after all, I, I mean I'm doing a good job of guys. Thanks so much. Oh, thank you, host. <clears throat> Actually, we have had uh, submissions uh, from different people here with divergent uh, opinions. Yes, we, we, we cannot dispute the good things that come with the, the, the government of national unity. But uh, the way I see it and the way we are discussing it here is like we are substitu substituting uh, elections for government of national unity. I'm saying so because uh, in as far as I know, elections are a, a peace and conflict resolution strategy. We should be respected globally. But uh, in government of national unity, it's like a top-down model. Whereas elections, it's a down-up model. We vote our leaders to power, not to form government of national unity, but we f vote for our leaders to assert power through democratic means. So... Where are the voters put when we discuss government of national unity? Because there wasn't any referendum uh, put to people to ask uh, to be asked if they are voting for a government of national unity, not at all. And uh, I, I have to take this opportunity to rebut what Padare said earlier on. I know he so selfish that he does not want to be referred to when uh, issues are raised but he likes calling other people's names but i put your your records uh, straight firstly when you meet uh, leaders of these pressure groups don't mistake them for opposition leaders you haven't met uh, people from the major opposition political parties parties like nelson chamisa you haven't met with Wende, you haven't met with anyone, but you have met probably with Linda Masarira and the, uh, this brief test politician, Dr. Shumba. You come here, tell us that you have met many political, uh, opposition political leaders. This is no time for propaganda and show off. So yes, you might have had a privilege to meet with those people, but don't sway our thinking to make us believe that we have uh, met with the major political uh, opposition leaders. And uh, to correct you again, MTC, you see, MTC was the strongest party in its formation up to the time it was dissolved. Uh, but uh, if you are a good analytical person who does analysis, not using knowledge acquired through propaganda, you will concur with me that CCC is stronger than MTC. Look at the number of people who voted for CCC in 2018. Compare it with the people who voted for MTC in 2008. You will tell me. And uh, look at it from the uh, local perspective again. Okay. CCC 
Uh, Baba Zala, I'm, I'm, I'm being reminded of the time. Okay, sorry. Yeah, CCC, CCC managed to take ZANU PF to court after it stalled the election, but MTC didn't after winning. So, who do you think is we, uh, stronger between the two if you look at uh, those scenarios separately? All right, thank, thank you, thank, thank you, Baba Zala. Uh, uh, but in your submission, your submission Baba Zala, Baba Zala. some people some might, people might, might start, start accusing you and say, Remember, there's been a debate whether the MDC is Triple C. Because in 2018, there was MDC, and then Triple C was formed in January. So then it becomes that very controversial. Very controversial. That's no, I'm it's not controversial. I'm giving political parties. He says the strongest political party was MTC. I'm saying no, CCC is stronger than MTC. That, that's what I'm saying. You said to 2018 when C Triple C was formed in 2022. He's talking yeah. about President Chamisa. No, no, he said MDC in 2018. I hate him. Uh, so he was candidate. Thank you so much. Uh, let's move to the next uh, presentation. Uh, we know for a fact that Advocate Nelson Chamisa said we are forming a new party which is different from the MDC, which participated in 2018. Let's not just debate this. It's factual. Thank you very much. Let's go to the next uh, um, uh, presentation. It was me, right? Am I right? Yes, correct. Yes. Right. No, it was me. Yeah, it's uh, my uh, what, what I can say, I it think... Is, the, no, see, you, are, you are coming after Smarters. Uh, thanks. Smarters, your three minutes. I sincere apologies, sorry. Smarters, are you there? Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm back now, yes. <clears throat> okay, thank you so much. So, uh, in, um, if I could pick up from, uh, pick it up from when Dabazes were left. So, when he's doing analysis, he's looking at the leader. That's why he gave us two two elections there. But again, you know what? If you cannot follow some of these simple things, if I if I were to say something that I really want to say, you think I'm attacking you. But it's okay. So let me go back to my to my initial submission. My initial submission, I was like, uh, if you try to put lipstick on a pig. <laughs> Uh, Senor, you can go ahead. Go ahead. I need to attend to this kind of boy first. Then I'll come after you. Thank you. I think now we, we are progressing. In any, I do not care anymore. It's a subject for another day. Some of us, we saw these things coming in advance. Ivan, is Ivan here through you, Austin? Are you still here? I'm here, thank you. No, it's in your nose. Where were you when you needed you most? When you started this space? Uh, um, the vice president was addressing us on another space, thank you. So I think I said it earlier. Let's be sober. And I, I want to wear a yellow regalia. As I'm talking, it's painful. When I was saying, it's not, it's evidence best because there was a question to say, where are we getting this from? And what I've read, it's a summary of everything that we're talking about from the beginning. And I remember, I've always said, <coughs> not that I know everything. Consistently, I've been following the day when they had a meeting. Even prior to that, we've been asking the diplomacy by Nelson Bachamisa. I'm not saying he's doing anything wrong, but I'm simply saying it pains me as a Zimbabwean 
on behalf of the voiceless. That we are treated like third class citizens. We are the last ones to know what is happening. There is a bombshell. If we are to say the truth, we all know that we have a problem. I included this denial syndrome. There's nothing new. If we are to, we are to do a critical analysis of Nelson Chamisa, who took over from Shanghai, took over from Shanghai. It's not conspiracy. Everything that has been said over and above what I thought is like a dream, it's like a joke. So I would like to think the struggle for economic freedom is still on. And I, I'm I'm so positive now and I'm saying it eloquently that there's a day, a time that will come when Shamisa will say, from what I've read, what what was read. And I've always talked about contingency planning, preparedness. Are we prepared for the worst scenario? And without saying much, she was and everyone here present. Uh, this to me, it empowers me, you and all of us. This, this news, this breaking news, which I can tell most people didn't hear, they didn't know. But I don't blame it. It should empower us to say, no, 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 no. It's okay. How do we move forward? Anybody, that's me, anybody who has been tried and tested by the system, they should, we do not want them. It's a new page. Constitutionalism, new page. We are tired of being played. I'm not here representing any political will or any formation. I am who I am, and I'm consistent in what I'm thinking, you know, what I, I think, what I say. There's no politics in Zimbabwe. But we cannot say suffer because there's no politics in Zimbabwe. The struggle moves on. There's, there's one statement I heard from a living cadre. Dead bodies, they don't fight any battles. Okay, the Senor Rodi, you can wind up your submission. Yeah, the death of a commander, it doesn't mean that it's the end of the game. So people don't have to be disappointed by anything, by anybody. Those who are determined, this is the time. Anybody who has tried and tested by... Anybody who has let down Zimbabwe. And this is my voice. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Zeti. I'm recognizing you uh, with the lineup. I think you come after Padare's submission. So let's just follow the lineup that I mentioned before. I don't have to remind you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm very close. All right. So I just wanted to start by saying I d I'm not agreeing with, uh, uh, with Ivan's submission <clears throat> or the way he interpreted uh, President Nelson Jamisa's tweets. Uh, and I say this uh, respectively. <clears throat> he's, a, he's a good brother of mine, but it's always good, you know, when you come to these spaces and we argue based on on points and interpretation and, you know, how we see things. To me, I'm looking at President Chamisa's tweet as a tweet that's there to build a nation that's divided. I think when we started this space, uh, we actually to the, we alluded to the fact that we are divided as a country. So if you're going to have a president, you would need a president who's going to unite people. And when I read uh, President Nelson Chamisa's tweet there, I'm seeing that statesman, that leader who is coming to make sure that we, we bury that division, we bring people together. And when we give posts or when we appoint ministers, we are pointing based on merit. And, and I agree, I do concur, and I support that move to say government should be about technocrats, not politics, not politicians. Right? So people that are in the government, people that are running the economy, they should be technocrats. Uh, where we are going to get taken, those technocrats, just like interviews for a public uh, posi private position in a public, say, in a public company, the job is advertised, then you will have people applying and from their CV, performance-based, then you take it forward. I am for that, and I, 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 I agree with President Nelson Chamisa's tweet. From that tweet, I'm not seeing any GNU. 
he did not speak to GNU and it's something that's very topical and I felt if he really meant GNU, he should have said it uh, in, that, in that message. I'm not seeing it. And why am I saying this? I'm saying this because GNU is not good for Zimbabwe. GNU is not good for Zimbabwe. I know that he came and pushed some narrative that are unfounded when he made his submissions. And these narratives included, he said the business does not support the ruling party. He also said, oh, but Ebert, what you're doing is not fair. I got the microphone at eight minutes past five, according to my watch here. Now it's ten past. You're already waving. I don't know what you want to achieve, brother, but it's just not fair. Uh, Spartas, my, my watch shows 11 minutes past. You got at eight minutes past. My watch shows 11 past, and you have a minute to go. Thank you. Okay, so ZT was saying business does not support the ruling party. The business does not support the opposition. They are comfortable with the government of national unity. I don't know where he's getting all this, right? The opposition has never tested power in Zimbabwe. We have never been given opportunity to lead. So for someone now to come and say the business in Zimbabwe does not support the opposition, I don't know where he's getting this from. I usually tr uh, trust my brother when he makes a presentation, he brings substance, he brings... Uh, he also brings evidence. It's evidence-based. So I don't know where he got that from. He also said, our constitution is silent on government of national unit. We are arguing that the government of national unit is unconstitutional. That's what we are saying. It's not covered by the constitution, therefore it's unconstitutional. Why do we need it? We need to go the credible elections route. Once the people are elected with the mandate, they're given the mandate by people, you just allow them to rule. If they fail, then you allow people to come back again. We did not see a government of national unity in Zambia, right? We did not see a government of national unity in Zambia. And we have seen their economy, their puller. Is it the puller or what is it called? The current the Zambian current, right? We, we see the, current, the way, the kwacha, the yeah. way it is. The yeah. way it is smarter, respond, smarter. Right? three minutes, Jaquan. Well, can I wind up? Let me just yes. wind up. No, 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 let's not. Okay, let's, the say the, let's, but the, the, let us not abuse the space. <laughs> uh, guys, in in answer to what data say, because the Kappa three minutes, uh, people are complaining, some are others are complaining. I don't know, should I give three minutes to other people and more to other people? Because I, I'm, help me, I'm being fair, smart as you started it, eight minutes, and now it's 18 past. Uh, let's just move on, uh, guys, it's fine. Let's move on. I'm, I'm, I'm being fair, yeah. To everyone, to senior or to whoever, let's just move on. I asked for permission what, to wind up, and you said yes. Yeah. Let's you ask the senior or to wind up. Uh, smart as you've spoken for five minutes. Uh, from eight minutes past, it, 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 now it's at 14. It's actually five minutes. Thank you very much. Let's move on. Because I'm not I'm not going to 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 tilt the ground for you. No, it will not happen. I don't care. Let's move on, guys. I think Dobbs is next. Yeah, but as as, as speakers, I think I finishing of a sentence should be allowed. It should be allowed. No, no. Yeah. I, I gave I gave Smarters two more minutes, uh, ZT. So I I think Smarters should do me also in a better way because each time is is the cry baby here now. There's nothing wrong to say here, but let me just finish just a sentence. A sentence will not take us another thirty seconds. So let, let's just maintain decorum and not abuse each other because Smarters has been abusing me again and again and again. This is not good. All right, let's not abuse each other. I've maintained decorum. If you want to finish a sentence, it won't take 30 seconds. So, smart as my brother, I'm dealing with you nicely. Deal with me also nicely. Finish your sentence and we move on. But let's not be a crybaby, please. Thank you so much. So just to, but, just, um, just, 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 you cannot be bullets. You can you be asked, bullets, you but you cannot be bullets. Yeah, we cannot be bullied. Okay. Can you yeah. deal with Senor, yeah. please? I know no, you don't no. want to. No, no, no. You, you gave me the plan to finish my sentence. Blind. 
Can I finish my sentence? You, you can finish your sentence, but please, like, smarters, don't bully me, please. You can finish your sentence, Madas. He's doing this deliberate. He has been doing this deliberately. He wants okay. this thing to fall apart. Right. That's what he's doing. Because they can't hold conversations okay. like this. He's, right. you know, he's just being rude. But you can... Guys, please, let's, let's, let's move on. Smarters, we're going to give you the opportunity to finish your sentence. Please don't take more than 10 or 15 seconds. And then we need to move on to tops. Okay, thank you so much. I feel, you know what, I feel attacked here by the host and also the senior. And this has got nothing to do with what is happening on the space. Maybe it's smart, smart, effect, right? smart as you, you told me I cannot rely on my memory. You've been attacking me ever since. And everyone, I think, knows that. So it's fine. It's all right. If you don't want to present, it's all right. You can just move on to the next person. I've tried to be fair. You've been attacking me. I'm just giving in all persons enough. It's very clear that you want this space to degenerate. No, it's fine. We can just move on to the next person. Uh, senior, you can speak. Then you go to Dobbs. Thank you, Smarters. I, I think I've tried to be fair. Uh, I don't think it was me. It was uh, somebody else. It's yeah. Jobs, can you go ahead? It's supposed to be tops. Uh, thanks to everybody. Uh, the issue here, when we go to the topic of GNU, uh, we have to start by understanding what Padari is saying to say ZANU-PF was it is strong as at this time and that time. Is it, it weakest at this time? That's the fact. It's no longer rely, rely on structures. It every long ago relinquished the structure of commissariat where it is now giving it to chiefs and admins. It no longer rely on their own voters because they've done audit and see that it only they only appears on paper. That is only why they are just going for ED. We wonder why how are they going to select their candidates apart from ED. Uh, going on to the actual actual fact, what citizens that is say to try to just uh, probably make it cosmetic to say GNU is a good thing. It's not the fact. Because whatever is achieved on GNU, it will get whitewashed the uh, once the period of journey is over what are the gains the gains of 1987 there's nothing the issue of political violence is back again there was gukura wound but when it comes again years after it comes this border gazi and now is there again is a bit graduates or whatever for ed mawind for ed or whatever so there's nothing to gain with those the so-called gnu I think what we now need to understand to some way it is we can my Twitter to some misinterpreted what is the meaning this and this. Working with somebody and having a GNU there are different things. Would you think probably what we need up is a, a new leader who will recognize that is the is leading the nation. What we have we an idea but they are just leading their part. Everything is done. For somebody who is affiliated to the party and, and he just try to capture everybody to be affiliated to his own party that is why we now have pastors for ed or apostle for ed which is not nation building yet they want us to tolerate them even when they are killing and murdering or stealing so we can't have such a gnu we can't go into gnu when we have such a scenario, we probably need a new player, a new party to try to just unite the nation. At the moment, you can see how it, where the country is going. We have that Mutwaka's movement, which is very strong to say 
whatever they demand is they make, don't make sense but the way they are marketing it it making sense to those who have, who are receiving it because they think that it's a, a alternative to solve their problem so but what it emphasizes then is the nation is divided and the amendment of the constitution since we have a new constitution we should be what we should be celebrating to say after the GNU, we have a new constitution. But it was um, um, uh, amended instead of aligning the laws to the new constitution. We are having a laws. <laughs> we, we are having that constitution being amended. So whatever we are going to gain after the GNU, it will be still washed away, eroded as quick as possible. Because those people, like right now, they've already pre created a parallel government. We don't know how ZANU PF is funded. Are you going to agree to say all those uh, people who are on benefits who work for Shake Shake Building, they get their income from donors uh, or whatever? It's nonsense. But, uh, my time is up. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, so uh, let me come in now. Uh, my, my, my Zimbabwe that I want, maybe I think we... I'm... Uh, trying to convince everyone here to say maybe let's look at what can be done. The Zimbabwe that I want is let's uh, focus on constitutionalism and uh, push for whether it's, it's not going to take a, a day. It's not going to happen maybe next year. But I think it, it is the beginning. And let me highlight something to Baba Zala and everyone. This space is not designed to wrap the elections. It simply means, you know, it's God's creation. Things were created in pairs. If we were failing to communicate, I'm sure now we have come to a convergence where we understand each other. I don't have any powers to stop an election, but I don't believe in that. But it's, it's a question of now, you know, combining the views. Now, first things first, constitutionalism. People have been tried and tested by the system. I've named some of them. Whether Jaka Oma, whether Jaka Power, that's those are the strategies that we have to come up come up with now. Going forward. The list is long. Well if we don't do that, we are doomed. Because we, we, to me, unless if we we still have that political mind, but I think this is slowly shifting us from political jackets to revolutionary jackets, which speaks to reviving the economy. So that means, again, number two proposal, a, a permanent secretary's directors have to be flushed out. There, there must be conditions, and this speaks to the kind of GNU. I'm sure we're not breaking it down. When Z says GNU, in any, I'll say, Z correct me if I'm wrong, GNU, GNU, it can be anything, but what I'm refusing is the kind of GNU that we've experienced in the past for GNUs, which is which goes back, to, which puts us back into the same situation. That does not speak to resettings. But if we do not adopt it and say, "No, we, the GNU that I want," then we have a problem. But world over, GNU it means working together. Simple. It's like G40. People think G40 it's a it's a, it's a department of ZANPF. No, it's a generational consensus. Something that again we are not taking into consideration we have generally all of us zanu pf mdc agree that there is need to put office in offices of authority young people and that to me when people now start thinking like that then we'll have an advocate we'll have a, a voice an action group to say no 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 time up time up time up time up you need, you need a chance to decide and finally last but not least panel time up Yebet, why are you quiet? Yebet, can you be fair yeah. for once? Yebet, yeah. this time is out. Yo, Z you. Z Senor, can you, can you wind up? Your time is up. Smarters, thank you for raising that issue. Senor will give you a chance to wind up. Thank you. Thank you, I'd finished. Z listen to this very carefully. He's not in the ordinary. Takavur Omas is on He's not a genius. But Z is something else amongst us. Thank you, Senor. 
Thank you, for a reason. Thank you. Thank you, Senor. I think I had given you a minute, so that minute was not yet over before the interruption. So you are done. Uh, let's move on with the line. Yeah. Tashika, Tashika. You see, everyone who has spoken here, they never stood up to articulate what their policies are and they, how they are going to win the election. Zanu PF went to Congress and it showed you what it is. Kubaku Masero, we're actually building and you are all commenting about what Zanu PF is doing best. Hey, what would he do for what he do for chi chi chi? That is what it is. That's what wins elections. And I like what I even came about and say, oh, uh, Chamisa is talking to some military people and I uh, hear someone saying, oh, he's talking to... See, the, you are all talking to the little pits. I told you earlier that there are four principles and four... Th you are all ticking them in a box where you you, you are refusing. These are critical positions. You've done it, you know. Uh, and coming to the position of uh, my, my brother, who, Anzo, 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 who says... Chamisa says that is he, God is in it. My, you know, he says God is in it. He was born. There's a video actually. If you go to my timeline, it's there. You know, so he doesn't need all these structures. That's why he doesn't need these structures. And when you're coming to constitutionalism, Senor, I hope you are going to come up and talk to how Chamisa, you know, disrespected the N MDC constitution. Because you felt that it was bigger than MDC. And the fact that people sit down and lie, it's actually nice to hear that Ram Nangagwa has got an influence in another political party the way he is. So it means he's powerful. To me, when you tell me that another leader has got an influence in your political party, it means you are telling me that my leader is powerful. That's infiltration to the one, 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 or one political science. Uh, someone can actually tell another political leader to, to mess about another political leader, his own political party, and make him run like a chicken. I love that. I love it. So it means Vamunangagwa has got the tenacity, he's got the art of war in order to go on and split these parties and then they will start running to produce. Oh, no, Makutundi, and Santa Pera one, Makutundi, Mason, Vamuvesi, Mamshu, Wapa, Jibuti. I will come and teach you ever, Padar, and Scooty Mira in that tea. Muninga Matara for two minutes. Please oh, take, take this. When I wave, I'm saying you still have a minute to speak. That's okay. We've got NDS one. Look at it. Look at what is going on the ground. Critique that. If you can answer what people are answering right now, the reason why people are rising up beyond these NPF structures to say ED for you know my windy for ED, my postory for ED, and everybody people were laughing at us. I was born in an postory family. My father was a postory leader, and for people to come up and say ah my postory this, I'm actually looking and saying. You, you do not know how to communicate. You do not know how to go to people and make people work for you. What ED has shown, he has shown that he's not just a regional leader. He's an international leader embraced by all international poli politics now. He also embraced by his own people. You have the teachers for ED. You have everything for ED. Very soon, chickens for ED, dogs for ED, gnocca uh, uh, for ED. Everything will be about ED. Thank you. Mura. Thank you, Comrade Padari. Done deal for 2023. Start thinking about other ways of electing maybe your good MPs and councillors that are going to complement what ZANU PF is going to bring. Many thanks. That must go. That will be for something. We cannot allow it to capture. We are accepting capture. It will not happen. It won't happen. Senior, uh, let's move with the with the belt as we I, I, I spoke already. Let's move with the belt. Uh, thank you. I think it's good. Um, Really? Hey, is it not me? Sorry? Sorry, guys, I did not see who was speaking. I was coming after that. Say, is it not me? No, you can go after. It's okay. It's okay. You can go now and go after you. It's okay. Uh, 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 the champion, you can go, man. I don't want to respect the Samu Mukuru. Tower, I was I don't worry. Don't worry, champion. Don't worry. Go no, 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 no. Osawara, you were when you were in Gado Kira, you were Tangaswako. Okay, I've got my. Uh, uh, no, uh, uh, champion, uh, let's just follow the line. I think uh, Senior was just cracking a joke. Uh, we have lighter moments. 
Uh, let's just follow the line as it was. Uh, your three minutes smarters, then citizen can can continue. Did you For just the it was not a joke, but I was just. Uh... Uh, sorry, I meant champion, right? Not smarter. I meant champion. <laughs> All right. Uh, since ma ingai da kutanga nda pazeti zvangu kutata uri. Uh, because ndi no more respect as some as amao iano zuziwa saka regata uri. Guys, you wanna tell me no more? No worries. I'll take it. Uh, no worries. I'll take it. Um. So I'm addressing a couple of things that were put on me to address. So on 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 um, on smarters one, uh, uh, growth, uh, twenty nine. 6% growth, real growth year. We are talking about real GDP. 6% in 2009, 9% uh, in 2010, 93 in 2011, uh, 5% in, in, in 2012, 5% in 2013. Now, the other thing as well that opened up, uh, drawing rights were opened by, by GNU. We had three lots of drawing rights that we actually turned around and put on the drawing rights. Uh, uh, we know all the joint rights, the voting rights were given in by uh, IMF. We got that one through GNU. Uh, business actually came in because now they trust that the government is moving. Um, everything starts turning around and going sour after the GNU. Now, <clears throat> as I will say again, <clears throat> does not matter whether you like GNU or not. The problems that we have are according to the ones that are watching can only be solved by GNU, according to the ones that are watching. By the opposition, not GNU. You, yes, you, you say so, but I'm saying according to the ones that are watching. Yeah, Not according to the opposition, not according to the ruling party, but according to the ones that are watching, these things can only be solved by GNU. That it does not matter whether you like GNU or you do not. But the ones that have the power to actually turn around and say, unlock this, unlock that, GNU is the only thing that works for them. Unfortunately. And whether we have GNU on, whether we do not have GNU in, in, in 2023, something of that effect is going to happen. Based on the, on the environment that is going to be created after, 20, after 2023. And GNU in our laws, is actually there. Hence why Parliament passed the law in 2008 to create the GNU. And when it passes the law, it actually turned around and amended the Constitution, giving the President and the Parliament the right to do that besides the people. No one is, was ever consulted. No one can be consulted. Only the ones that are, are, are your representatives in Parliament now are doing things for you. And the ones uh, that are our representatives in Parliament are broken up now and then in three political entities. ZANU, CCC, MTC. And then it was ZANU, MTCT, MTC, uh, uh, Mtambar. And those are the ones that actually form the GNU. If GNU is going to be put in this year, those three entities, ZANU, CCC, and MTCT, will be the ones that form GNU, and they will be the ones that will turn around and even turn around and pass that law. No consultation needed. Where, where are you getting this from? Where are you getting this from, Z? Which provision of the Constitution are you reading from? <clears throat> okay. Who amends the Constitution? The what Parliament amends the Constitution. People, what aspect of the Constitution? What aspect the of the one Constitution? The one that allows there a GNU things, to be formed. There are things that can be amended by, uh, yes, legislators, but there are things that cannot be amended by. You need to go back to the people. No. And you know that, Zeti. No, no, you don't need to go back to the people. That's why we're, what, we're a representative government. The people become the Parliament. Thank you, you do Zeti. not need a referendum. No. No. Your representatives are the ones that are going to speak for you. Same as they did Zeti. in 2008. Zeti, just point us to where it says that in the, okay. in the Constitution. Okay, 2000, you remember 2008? We are talking about 2013 Constitution. I'm but showing you what... It's the same thing is, is, is possible. 
because that one that that bit of 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 the parliament actually doing it has not been taken out if you want to take that you have to take out the right of the parliament to actually amend the constitution if not they are going to amend it same as they did before so it's not there right are we agreeing that it's not there no 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 the right but you're saying it is possible you are saying it's possible we are saying it's not in the constitution it does not need to be in the constitution the ones that make up the amendments have the right to amend the constitution same as they did in 2009 will in 2009 they amended and passed a bill that actually made them form that government unanimously because they were the ones in government <laughs> that they are going to be in government. So <laughs> they can't void, they can't vote not to be in government <laughs> when they want to be government. So what I'm what I'm trying to say to guys is the possibilities is there. We had we had more GN news than anything else in Zimbabwe. And every single time when the economy is is shifting or there is problems of of, of anything that we want to class in Zimbabwe. GNU normally turns around and comes in. Now, whether it works, it is for the future to judge. This is where the problem is. Whether it works is for the future to, to judge. And the, same, the GNU of, or, or, that is going to come, let's say it comes in 2023, is not going to be the same as the GNU in 2008, uh, 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 87, 82, or 80. It's not going to be the same. Because those other four chain news were actually addressing their problems. And they sort of addressed them. And this one is a new problem. It's called the so, team, you, you Thank you. so, yeah, yeah. New problem. Oh, okay. That's it. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Zeti. What I, what I simply heard from Zeti saying is uh, we, we have a constitutional democracy and the legislature is uh, an arm of government which at any time, if approached, uh, is asked to amend the constitution. So, by saying that, a GNU can actually be established. It's a matter of just uh, the political principles agreeing, go to parliament, uh, make a, an amendment, and adopt that. That's what I had uh, said is actually saying, which is actually very, very poss as possible. That, as simple mm -hmm. as that. All right, I think he, he got to make something straight there. Paka kiri yetu wachimu ichu nujainzi global political agreement. As a result, yema ye MOU ya kasainiwa kutichu nicheo chivepo. Saka atisa ngu maira kudi kufura sure tijiza uti musewe uruku huya. Izu chizwa kuti atisa tana ma instrumenti wao. One, two, atina ma conditions. And it are compelled because for GNU to exist, there must be things that must compel it to be there. If there are no conditions that compel is compels it to be there, there is no GNU. So that's what, uh, if that's what everyone is saying. Ah, 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 so let's, let's 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 not dream much on on the gnu please let's focus on what we have controllable variables and uncontrollable variables controllable variables motivating our people to go and vote and do the rest election kana one Ukaona muna nga baka voterwa nevanu through free and fair election. Musu yoyo, pasi ndo pachaenda kudenga. Denga renda pasi. Mpura yu na hiji. Thank you. Unonge munongo roto. Ayo, waka hiji wa 2018. That's why I kept my institutions. Usafunga ondiri benzi. Indaku military yako. Izo, shika na uchida. Indaku Africom. You get these results. Urege propaganda ya kuyo kunye pirabanu uchigara mu 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 nangire mu 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 landa numu. Zogira kumusha hundu wana kutu no gara kuhiri. Stop I making noise. Thank you. I have a question for champion. No, you can't ask questions. You are you can't ask questions. We are waiting to speak. 
Are you are you champion speed court? No, 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 no. I tried to ask a question. That's what you said. No, you are not. You are not. A, you are not his speed court. You speed court. Okay, okay, gentlemen and ladies, can we continue? Um, after champion Ivan has been waiting for a very long time. Then we will come back for the next round. Uh, Ivan will give you an opportunity to speak. Your five minutes begins. Uh, ah, thank it's you now, so much. It's now three minutes, four. Three minutes. Three minutes. Okay, thank you so much. Um, I just wanted to congratulate my brothers, Matas, and Tino, and others for... Uh, coming to disagree with me. That's the spirit in CC. I think that's the only party where we can disagree and still be fine with each other. Uh, quickly going on to the topic, I've just pinned again another tweet from Honorable Tendai BT where he's talking in no uns uncertain terms, echoing uh, Nelson Chamisa's words to say a new consensus is required, one based on inclusivity. I'll stop there. He mentioned many words, but I'm going to stop at inclusivity. And on the previous one, Advocate Chamisa did not mean his word. Wait, he did say we're going to appoint... That's what people do when they are losing. ...new Zimbabwe from across the political divide. He didn't mean his word. So I think we are we are uh, going for semantics. When we are saying GNU, doesn't necessarily mean uh, uh, what we are really thinking. All the GNUs, the four that we had, they were by different designs. In 1980, Mugabe was not forced. It was out of his own will. And the subsequent that came with uh, with the Zappo, they were not false. They designed this as they wanted. So we're not talking of GNU. Don't think of uh, <laughs> any of the things that have happened in the past. We can design it the way we want. Yes, it's not in the Constitution. All the four there were not in the Constitutions, but they designed them. So there's nothing really that can stop us from designing a GNU that can work next year. And let's not make it about semantics. When you say GNU, I think I've made this point. Avoid, ignore the semantics of before. President Chamisa avoided the word GNU. Uh, um, Deputy President Beatty avoided the term GNU. But in what they are saying, in essence, it's a GNU. It's a government made by all political parties that will make it into parliament. How, <laughs> how and I'm why they are going to design it the way they see it fit. So, yes, in as much as we are going all out for the election, I want to emphasize this point, guys. Zimbabwe is not Zambia. Uh, Zimbabwe is not uh, Swaziland. Our situation is very, very different. It's not possible for CC to take over government without getting some consensus from the military, from the judiciary, from the war veterans. Yes, it's I'm not in the constitution. The constitution I'm says you take power. You. Mad. Right, can we allow him to finish, please? Otherwise, I'll go to the motor and we will not speak up. I want to go to the motor because the pain is in your hand. Yapir, I'm going to go to that special case. Where... Sorry, Ivan, you can, you can go ahead with your contribution. Thank you so much. So I was saying it's not possible for CC to take over without some concessions from the establishment. It's just not possible in our case, guys. These guys have captured everything and anything that can be captured. So there is need for Zanu, for, for Triple C and this leadership to give some concessions to these guys, to give them some safe lending space so that they can able to co cooperate with the new government. Other than that, we are just uh, fooling ourselves and being naive to think we can take over without getting some concessions from these people. Yes, it's not in the constitution. Constitution says you take power through elections. Yes, but how many times have we won? And what has happened? So if we are not learning from history, it means just we are playing. Look at 2018, 2008. That was a whitewash from parliament to, to, to council to the presidency. Whitewash. Right? But what happened? Look at 2018. What happened? He, he did not manage 40%. But look what happened. We're still in charge. So we have to learn from that, that he has some people that he's using, right, in this power matrix. And we also have to use those people one way or another. That's how we are going to take over. So there's no need to create this hostility and say, ah, oh, we don't want them. They've missed the country. Yes, we know. 
but we can put some controls to manage them but we cannot do away without them it's just not possible the way statecraft works you cannot just abolish it and start over afresh tomorrow it just doesn't work like that there will be, to be some mechanism of working together with them and don't confuse yourself with the semantics and say gnu gnu or whatever name you want to give it there has to be a way of working together with those progressive people, with those people that are at the center. There has to be a way. And GNU is just a loose term to describe that. It's just a loose term to describe that. But how it will be like, it will depend on how the election comes out or much, how much power, negotiating power, the election will give you, right? Even if you listen to Advocate Chamisa's uh, predictions, he's not looking for a whitewash. He's gunning for 65% for the presidency, right? Which means that other um, 35 percent, you'll have to do something, right? Right? To offer some, uh, to give them some negotiating power. So we are not going for a whitewash. It's not possible in any case. Yes, we are going to win convincingly, but how the the creature that we are going to create is going to be determined by who has so much what power from the voters. But in outright ZANU-PF and outright CCC, it's a non-starter. Forget about that. It's not Thank realistic. You. Thank you. Uh, Kohos, can you take uh, control of the minutes, please? And Dimbo, ita njaga tiri randa ka zoro, randa ka to relax and chinwa drink rango. Kuda ka ero, na ero. Kana ku celebrate. Ah, what's the do ku celebrate? Dufunga pane so anga wajizi wa basa tava isa discussion spacey saka swinge swanya so kuda pache na mwaji saka saka kwa kutongo zoro la vachinu wa shawo wakango chila Hai wa tova vinga ukoko tova vinga ukoko kana ndiri se nindo tova da bigozi pani pa wampo ndi rafura rafura inandi inandi nangu wana wa ndi wano ndi zi waka ndo ya kondo yoko Uh, okay, I, I see three hands that are raised, but I seem to have lost my order here. The smartest Tino and the uh, Signoro and Engineer. That makes four. So perhaps if I can, if you can allow me to just set five. Na, na base. Um, I think I come last. Engineer, I was I should, she should be first. Okay, that's fine. So let's allow engineer to contribute, um, and then Tino, you, then Tino, yeah, yeah. Then if we can do Tino, uh, no, come after Tino. Senor Matimo, that we the last. I know that one last, but I'm not talking. Those the last. Okay, no problem. Then in the base, you'll come after Smarters. Engineer, you can go ahead. I just want to agree to. What I even want to uh, say, and um, yeah, to be frank, to, to, to be frank with you, um, I think it uh, it really makes a lot of sense. Um, I would want to also respond to something that uh, actually Smarters was actually also saying. Uh, uh, you know, he pointed out something like, uh, you know, our nation is really divided. There is something that needs to be done. I think that from the fact that you mentioned about our nation being divided, the only solution that we can actually have is for us to have something that can actually unite that, that can actually unite the nation. I'm sure from the two ways that I've actually said, it's about the unification of our nation which are the two symbols that are in the letter G and U, you know, the unification of the nation, national unity. I think we need the unification of the nation. The G and U, uh, like, uh, like uh, uh, how Ivan uh, actually alluded to it, it's not just about, uh, um, it's not just about uh, maybe what we, we, we saw in the, uh, the last time we had the GNU, the government of the national unit in 2009, the, after the 2008 election, we can actually have uh, a GNU whereby we have uh, maybe like uh, the, uh, the, in opposition.
opposition leader after garnering uh, 51.1 percent then he calls out for everyone for everyone who is in zanu pf for everyone who is actually in the uh, well the the the, the Monzora party everyone uh, the linda masaria he joins them together together then they get involved into the into the government then we actually have the unification of the nation through him you see it's not just about maybe uh saying that uh, you know zani pf this has got this uh, percentage is going to be controlling uh, uh, this and that you know it's about uh, it's about the unification of uh, the nation and it can actually be done even with the with the with the opposition only the opposition on its own but this cannot be done by by the ruling party the current ruling party zanu pf because i don't think you know they're the one that has actually caused this is going to get that like 30 seconds okay they're the one that has actually uh caused this problem and i Uh, there is no way they can actually be they can there's no way they can actually bring about this because they know they, they will be having a lot of a lot to lose and to gain after all it's it's working into their into their their uh, their side that we are now a divided nation and and we the, the coming in of someone else from the opposition then we might have oh. okay engineer i have to be fair and uh, stop you there uh, your time has um, come up uh, i'm going to move us on to tino uh, if you still want to continue you can raise your your hand and when we circle back we'll give you an opportunity to finish that uh, thought that you had thank you Okay uh thank you uh Ian uh thank you Yeah uh so just so um with to to my brother Z and the, those who were talking about the constitution uh issue that uh yes the constitution can be amended uh by parliamentarians but there are some things if there are some uh, sections in the constitution which are not amendable by uh, parliamentarians which needs uh, to go to a um, uh, to, to a referendum so we need to uh, need to understand some of those kind of things and also to say that uh, it is constitution to, uh, it is constitutional for us to um, to have a gnu currently uh it's not uh true because it's not there uh currently in the constitution that provision it was there it was put there in 2009 where there was a gnu but when we have another new constitution uh it's no longer there that uh, provision so we might need to uh to have another arrangement again to to have a constitution and then i had my brother there padari i'm going to be continue hammering on him uh he also said something that uh, we are talking here there are people who are not they are not even debating about their policies and all those kind of things he when he came here he never said any policy that is uh, that's an pf head but he is always just blabbering that uh ed for for kids ed for dogs ed for ma- well for maure for ed and all those nonsense i'm not sure if those are the policies that they have in in zanpf and the he, oh, and with that picture that he has for ds it is for my brother it is not for my brother smarters who actually teach him we actually taught him about what that e n stands for and maybe to 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 tell him about some of the things that are in that document how it came about um which is the confidence to put it as a uh, 
uh, those are the people that we're actually encountering in these, in these spaces. They always um, they always come and uh, have this kind of thing that they they talk about things that they don't know and they want to preach this gospel um, and they want us to believe that there is. Uh, they know about deep state and the, what needs to be done about uh, for people to take power, which is actually misleading people to remove confidence on people on the, on how uh, the things in in this can, in the country and the electoral process it should be. So um, uh, I'm gonna rest my case because my the host is uh, signaling me to say I, I must as. Uh, my time is up, but I uh, just want to say thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Tino, for your contribution. Okay, thank, thank you. I think I was going next. All right, thanks, so, Tino. Thanks so much, Tino, for uh, for bringing those points, my brother. So, if you look at the Constitution, the Constitution speaks to issues that are covered under Chapter Four which are our rights, and also chapter 16, which talks about agriculture, the land, and things like that. So you will notice that under rights, there's a section. Uh, I don't know how to call these things. I'm not an advocate, and I don't lie that I'm an advocate when I'm not. Uh, it's under, six, I think it's 67 in the Constitution. I mean, we don't section 67. Under political rights, and it's very clear to say every Zimbabwean citizen has the right to free, fair, and regular elections for any, ele any elected public office established in terms of the constitution or any other law, right? So this is speaking to our right. And according to the constitution, you cannot amend this aspect uh, using uh, the parliament or using the legislature. You need to go to the referendum. And when I speak to Z now, when he says... You know, the Constitution, if something is not in the Constitution, it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily mean uh, that it's, an, it's, it's, it's illegal. I find that statement to be disturbing, especially coming from, 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 from ZT, because you look at the preamble of the Constitution, right from Chapter 1, it speaks to the supremacy of the Constitution. Okay? So what do we mean by the supremacy of the Constitution? We mean the constitution, this 2013 constitution, right? That's the supreme law of Zimbabwe. Any law, according to the constitution, any law, practice, custom, or co conduct inconsistent with it is invalid. That's what we are talking about. So when we say something is unconstitutional, we are guided by chapter one of the constitution. When we say you cannot just amend and take away our political rights, right? We are basing this on the Constitution. We cannot afford Zimbabweans. We cannot afford to allow ZANU-PF to keep on changing the Constitution. Because this is the only thing that we have left. This is the only thing that we have uh, in our armory. This is the only... I mean, does it mean I'm, I'm done already? I think since we don't have so many speakers, uh, if possible, co-host and host, uh, maybe <laughs> you might need to increase the term limits to five minutes, please. Okay, okay, all right. Finish you start with me, maybe. No, let him finish. Okay, I'll finish. Okay, okay, so that's fine. So, so this is where we are getting, we are getting this thing from the Constitution. If you are going to divert from the Constitution, we are allowing another coup. We need to go back to 2017 and learn from 2017. We cannot allow ZANU-PF to keep on, you know, bastardizing the Constitution. We can't do that. So, Mkoma Ivan, when we say no to to government of national units that's not being naive being naive is saying i cannot remove the military i cannot uh remove zanu pf people cannot vote zanu pf out of power that's naive right us not believing in government of national units you cannot confuse that you know as being naive and I, I submit this respectfully my brother what do we need to do we need to make sure that when we go, as we go to 2013 2023 sorry as we are preparing for elections, it is possible to have a credible election in Zimbabwe. One. Two, is po it is possible to remove ZANU-PF and everyone who has captured our state institutions after an election, right? So what do we need? We just need ZANU-ZEC 
to perform its mandate according to our laws. And make so sure that they matters, announce... What makes 2023 any different from 2013, 2018, 28, that what you're saying can be possible? Okay, I will, do you I want, I'll quickly respond. I'll quickly respond to your question. All right. 2013 is... 2023 is different, Ivan, because in 2018, I did not know you. We did not have Twitter spaces. One. Okay. In 2018, we did not have uh, the citizen action for change. The village, people that are contributing today, day and night, to defend the vote uh, in, uh, uh, in 2023 too. Three, in 2023, or in 2020, 2018, we did not have Malabas ruling. Okay? What do we learn from Malabas ruling? We learn that we are not behavioral scientists. You cannot go to court and say people vote... 150,000 in Mashona Land voted inside one hour. You need to bring the evidence to court. So come 2023, we are going to make sure that the evidence is there. The V11s are there. Once we have the V11s, once we have people on the ground, it will be difficult for, for ZANU-PF to steal the election. It will not be difficult for the military to vacate the offices. No, it will be difficult for ZANU-PF to rig the election. So if you're asking me again, what's, what, what, what's there now? 2023 is different. We did not have triple C in 23. Now we have to have triple C. People were not involved. Citizens were not involved. Now people are more involved. We did not have spaces. People found their voices. That's why now you can listen to, uh, you know, some people like Senior or now. It's because of space. And we have yeah, to... Hey, we have to come on. We have to come on. We have to come on. We have to come Okay, so uh, ten seconds round off your 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 point, and uh, try not to mention others, so we can move on. Thank you. Thank you so much. I will not mention, and I, I I'm so thankful to Padar. He has put the issue Yema sanctions to rest today, because he said Munangagwa cannot be that powerful to be able to influence the activities of another political party, which is the same argument. And I he said. said now, when we say, change. when we say, President Chamisa cannot be that, that powerful that. to be able to influence the foreign policy of a big country like the United States of America. No. So he has put this issue of sanctions, Mandra, that there are people that went to America to, to ask for sanctions. He managed to put that to rest you when he was making those perfect... echo chambers. Okay, mo mochingo mochingo ti allowed to move it to the next part. It will give you an opportunity to respond to to that one. Now, uh, now the smartest the government get a time. Ah, no go raba chingo, chingo puri zira shwa ke saka ta ngo dini ta ngo ita move on shedu. Senior on the now now the. Mamsa Tima Mataura, round revive a rapera, Mudautore is a red satatanga remote because to doubt it in the Pagna champion citizen would need to rebat Zataura. And then also we want to hear from a uh, new speaker, Kelvin, and uh, then Ivan as well. So if we can go in that order, I hope I haven't mixed it up. Uh, if that is okay, gentlemen, I appreciate. Let's go that way. Oh, okay, uh, okay was, um, allow me to divert attention to the because Tashika If I was uh, the godfather, I would declare that at this moment, now going forward, I will get to our Mazita. To my reference, I want to attack now let's take advantage this is not is not supposed it's not meant to to weaken us it's it's a reminder that we circumstance kwangu anishone we talk too much about shade view. I think let's draw a line and let's let's marry uh, the two 
what I know, what you know, and let's come up with a better Zimbabwe. The one thing that they said, uh, which I think people are talking about, back for the constitutional, I know for a fact our constitution, uh, it's, 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 it's a mix of beans, nyemba. It's just carcass. It's a derived, constitution derived from the colonial uh, 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 fundamentals where it, it, it seeks to promote the elite. It's flawed. It can be manipulated. It, I always say it's mal malleable. It's which speaks to constitutionalism. It's a state of emergency, the way I understand, the way the narrative you are it, which automatically makes it constitutional. And it has been said by others, not ZT. They say, no, it is more like a remedial thing. And they, they also, there's someone also, I think two people, people didn't hear. They are, this is not, it is this, the conditions of a GNU or the drive, the drivers are, the, it's external force. And again, it's alluded by Z. It's a fact. So it, it, it means a lot to us to say, uh, it means this could be uh, maybe coming from recommendations from outside. Whether Sadak in the international community say, look, let's leave Zimbabwe solve their own problems. They seem to have narrowed down their differences in, in as far as allowing young leadership to take over. Now, if you look around this scramble, but I think now we need to then get involved and say, okay, what do we do with Vakuruweda? Uh, uh, we need each other. We need to close the gap. We need to now come up with maybe put it in the constitution and an and advisory committee advisory team right so that the the, the issue legacy which is critical and protecting the heritage it comes in it's inevitable but if we fold our hands and pretend like we are stupid and then cry foul to over the boots and allow uh, this thing that things are just being told to us this is what it is. And, uh, and in my prediction, the poster, Tongo Zon Shamisa, Prime Minister, Ajiba Siri Chin, Wem Funge, Chinoba Siri and Chikuti Tishi Wonisana, it looks less. Go back to the constitution and challenge to say it's a people driven. Things should not just happen overnight because it's flawed in the sense that if what Seti was saying makes sense, to say, I, 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 they are contradicting uh, 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 clauses in the constitution. The, 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 the main contradiction is the preamble which says the people do in constitution. But it later on says people are represented by parliament. So it also talks about the executive powers. Uh, that means it's a Where dictatorship. Are you getting that confusion? Uh, I'm getting it from the way I read it. The Where? way I read it. Where? Where?